Good morning, cats. Up and at them. It is Saturday morning. It's only about 8.30. I've been up since, uh, oh, I don't know, 7.38. But time to head out. Got to go pick up a load of uh, firewood from the Amish mill about uh, 10 miles west of here. So, uh, early bird gets the worm. Sometimes when you go to these Amish mills to get firewood, uh, depending on the time of year and the temperature, <clears throat> there could be a lot of people there. So you go early in the morning, you get a better chance of backing right up to the pile and loading up. Uh, if you wait too long, like even 10 or uh, 11, I've gone there and the pile has almost been gone where there's been so many people there picking up uh, wood that it, that they, they, they clean out the pile. So hopefully I'll get there today and there will be some wood there. See, the thing about the Amish is they don't have phones, they don't have cell phones, they don't have a website. So there's no way to know even if they're going to be open today. Uh, you just kind of show up and I think Saturday is a popular day that uh, you know, that a lot of people go there to get firewood, so there's always somebody there. Sometimes they have one of the kids there or something just taking, taking the money. And I don't remember what it is. It was either $20 or $25, but I'll be able to heap the back of the truck full. Now, this place, is sl it's all slab wood, so it's a sawmill, and they're just the scrap ends that they cut off. But some of them are pretty big, heavy chunks, and that's what I like. I call those the all-nighters because they burn long and slow. So I'll throw a good mixture on the truck. But uh, heading there now. Uh, hopefully I can get a load, get in and out of there, and get back home and stack it on the porch. And then we got some other things to do this Saturday. Now it is the middle of October already, and uh, I'm noticing that although it should be the peak of fall, a lot of the leaves haven't started changing colors yet. I mean, this is a nice country drive, and uh, <clears throat> some of these trees should be very vivid, uh, and they're just starting to turn. It's still pretty though. The morning sun is kind of soft, so it's highlighting them uh, pretty neat. But they got a ways to go. And I think some of the trees, the leaves are falling green. They're not even turning colors. They're just dropping. So that's a little weird. But anyway, it's still pretty. Some trees more vivid than others. I mean, these people have this little tree here in their yard. And it's, it's pretty. It's real pretty. And then some of the maples here, you know, are starting to highlight uh, nicely. But really, in, a, in probably in another week, they're really going to look very, very vivid. So here's a nice maple here where the it's just starting to get that tinge of red on the tips. And it's beautiful, really beautiful. Well, I have arrived at the mill. I don't see anybody here. Place looks a little deserted. But I will drive back through here where the wood pile is and see what's going on. A little bit of wood there. <coughs> Nobody here yet. No wagons here, no buggies. But it looks like they got some good wood. So, uh, and we'll back up to the pile here and get loaded. Well, this is the pile, and usually it's, uh, it's like clear out into here and heaping up. So it's pretty well picked over already, but there's still a lot of wood there. It looks like a lot of oak, maple. So, uh, I'll have to get my gloves. I'm 
can see they have the uh, mill over here. They have a wagon. And as they cut the wood, they fill up this cart. And then this cart gets pulled up the rail and then dumped over the edge. So nobody here. Um, they got some kindling wood here they keep piled up. I never get that. I just look for the bigger stuff. So I'm going to head back over here and I'm going to start loading up the truck. Well, about uh, 40 minutes later, I think I got a load there. Uh, 20, 25 bucks. We'll see. But uh, tire's a little squatty there. Still plenty of wood on the pile though. So maybe I'll come back. All right, cats, I am loaded up and heading home now. It's a little slow drive, because as you can see back here, I'm pretty heaped up. Got a big load on there. Nothing's tied down or anything, so I don't want to flip off any wood onto somebody's hood. Or just leave it laying on the road, but not good, so take my time get home and then I gotta work my butt off to carry it all up stack it on the porch Alright, we all right we've got uh, all that wood that whole pile one truckload that's a lot of wood I was no help it's all him I'll burn it he brings it and stacks it I'm very lucky but a lot of wood makes you very happy it does it does yeah so she has wood to uh, keep her warm in the winter coming. That stuff will dry out there for a little while. It's a little wet, yeah. But uh, sun's hitting it, air will go through it. It's got a roof over it, so we're good. 20 bucks for that. You can't beat it. And I'll definitely be going back for more. For sure. <laughs> we'll keep us warm all winter. Yep. So the truck's empty. We're going to put it away. I'm not going to clean the truck out because uh, in a couple days we'll be throwing some fire, not this, we have some uh, actually campfire wood that we have cut. So we'll throw enough in there for the weekend because next weekend we're going camping. Yep, Geneva. I Yee hear it's beautiful. I think it's wine country up in Geneva. Well, maybe we'll buy some wine while we're up there. That would be fun. Yeah. Except I can't drink any. It'll be all you. Ooh, it's all me. <laughs> Oh, we got some birthday and Christmas presents to buy, so a bottle of wine is a good thing from one of those cool wineries up there. So anyway, we're going to get wrapped up here. We got another adventure to go on this afternoon. It's Happy Yarn Day. I love Yarn Day, and I make a lot of stuff. I crochet, I knit, so we're going to go to a fiber festival in Ashland, Ohio. 
And the alpacas and llamas and yeah. wool and yeah. yarn. And yarn bowls and shawl pins and special hooks and everything that a knitter and crocheter loves. So that's my wife's hobby, mm -hmm. and she does very well at it, too. So if you like something, um, I think she's got stuff posted on her Facebook page, and she sells it. Yep, just go to Val Avery on Facebook. All right, well, let's get moving here. Okay. And I'll put the truck away, and I'll, I'll get cleaned up. We'll get some lunch, and then we'll hit the road and head uh, to the yarn uh, festival or whatever it is.